Hi, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer, your QuickBooks and accounting experts. This video is going to walk you through a scenario where we want a report that will show specific customers and specific items that they purchased for a specific time frame, in this case, last month. And um, so in order to do this, we're going to start with a default report, and that's going to be the basis for um, customizing this report, if you will. And the report we're going to start with, go to reports, come down to sales, and we want to go to a sales by customer detail report. Okay, now you can see no data shows up. Um, we are just looking for last month's sales, so we'll change this to last month. But then there are certain items, and let's expand the items column. There are only certain items that we are interested in, and it happens to be these items with the dash R. Now, the dash R is just something I put in there to kind of make it pop, if you will, um, for the purposes of this video. But you can do this with any items. So um, let's first of all, let's um, shrink and expand as necessary the width of these columns. We want to make them just wide enough so that everything appears nicely. And uh, the memo column, we don't need. So if I take this diamond here, and I drag it to the left of this diamond, it goes away. All right, and then we have our customer names, and we've got our items showing. We don't care about units of measure. All right, and um, let's see, what else? Okay. Um, Oh, we don't care about balances because how much was spent by each customer is right here in the amount column. Now, again, there's only certain customers that I'm interested in and there's only certain items that we're interested in. So we're going to go up to Customize Report. We're going to click on Filters. We'll come down to Name. And we're going to select multiple names and it happens to be these first five names and these are just random names okay um, we'll click OK to that and then we're also going to choose item and we're going to select multiple items and it just happens to be these items right here but it could be any of these items that you know that could be included so I'll click OK I'm going to go back to display I'm going to just click off that left margin that's just going to buy us a little more room on the report and then I'll give it a logical name that will appear up here, up here. currently it reads sales by customer detail We'll have it um, read as um, Siemens items eligible for customer rebates. Okay. And then I can click OK. All right, looking pretty good here. All right, now last, I also want to memorize this report and um, I'll put this in my customers my custom reports click OK all right so now the good news is once we've done that and you know let's say we come to the next month and we want to pull it up and look at last month's sales um, we could just go to reports Memorized reports, my custom reports. Um, yeah, notice I've got two of them. Just ignore that. But there it is. Everything's formatted like we want to. It's automatically looking at the last month. 
And um, yeah, I think we're good to go. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment uh, on this video if you'd like, or call us 910-338-0488, or visit us on the web at quicktrainer.biz, B-I-Z, or quicktrainer.net. Again, I'm Jim Merritt, your QuickBooks Consulting um, expert. Make it a great day.